My name is Michael Wardswamp, and I am testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. I had a prophetic dream about um about um the Antichrist. It's one of the most important prophetic dreams I've ever had, and I don't know exactly what it means, but it's important to to God. There's a reason for it. Um, so if there's a more anointed seer, um, pray to God, ask him what it means, and he might tell you. Um, but um, this is the dream. And pray against the devil before you ask God what the revelation and the prophecy is. I made the testimony already, but I was like super hyped on coffee or something. So I, it just sounds like I'm like ridiculously foolish. Oh yeah, I had this dream three months, exactly three months, 13 days, three months and 13 days before September 23rd, 2017, when the Revelation 12 sign happened. Okay, this is the prophetic dream. I was with Tim, a friend of mine, and it was a holiday and we got each other gifts that we shared outside in a setting I'd never seen before or been in before. I remember that he got me something cheap and he took a small green candy from a $1 bag of 30 pieces and put it into a fancy little box and told me it was a medal slash a reward because I deserved it. Once again, there was food everywhere in this, there was food everywhere in the dream, all types of different types of food, especially candy. In this dream, while I was outside all the different times I was, there were many groups of people who I'm not playing in the box right now. In this dream, while I was outside, all the different times I was, there were many groups of people who disliked me very much and I kept hearing them say the word faggot under their breath and training their children to do the same. I was coming up from a hilled area outside alone and I ran into a group of two grown men and three children and they as well as everyone else hated me with this thick tension but they were silent about it as well and they wanted me to know it. So I stopped to talk to them and I looked and pointed to the clouds and said, do you see those beautiful clouds? Do you see those beautiful clouds? They said, yeah. Uh, I said, you know, God created them, right? Like making it clear, you better knock off your foolishness. God is real and he is watching you. First point. And as I was pointing to the sky, I first noticed a blotchy space far away of salmon colored energy. Then it, too, then it instantly turned into night and I could see many stars and they all started connecting with lines of light to make shapes dancing in, in the sky. It reminded me of Christmas. I don't know why I put that, but I did. And then I just started falling into the sky, like gravity reversed, like I didn't load into the sky. I'm going to punch that cat. <laughs> Excuse me. I repent, Lord. <laughs> Get down. Um, then I just started falling into the sky, like gravity reversed, like I just flew right up into the sky. Um, I'm off there. Don't think about it. And then I just started falling into the sky, like gravity reversed. But I believed God had, but I believed God had snatched me up into the sky, kind of tossing me around and it was comforting. But around the third, maybe second time he tossed me, I saw a man who looked like the Antichrist. It looked like Jesus concealing himself in a black cloak with a black hood on. He looked like little red, like, like if Jesus was dressed like little red riding hood, but the cloak was black instead of red. So he, it was beneath my feet, the Antichrist, and um, um, he was like this, and I'm like, I'm upside down looking at him, I'm above him, he's below me, and I'm looking down, and the cloak is flowing powerfully in the wind, and he was like this. Not like he was hanging on a cross, but like he was hanging in great power. It was like, it looked like Jesus Christ. And he was wearing a white robe, and it was Jesus, but he wasn't looking at me like Jesus would. He was looking forward, but concealing himself with the black hood on, and the, like a cloak flowing in the wind. Totally concealing himself. It was the Antichrist. When I saw him, I was above him. He was beneath my feet. I put Antichrist question mark. He had both his arms stretched out as hanging in great power. He had both his arms stretched out as in hanging in great power. He didn't look like he was hanging on a cross, but he was in the same position. Only hanging in great power. He, that's what he looked like. He was hanging in great power. Like he had all, like all power and he was like, yeah, great power. And he was confident in it, but deceitful, evil, acting like Jesus, but absolutely not. 
Then I was on the second floor patio deck in another state at my motel or hotel. Somewhere in this part, somewhere in this part, there was my motel manager talking to another man about the Bible, the word of God. Then there were zombies, reanimated corpses that were evil. Um, threw something over the zombie's head and kicked it down the stairs and I saw it fall extra stupid down the stairs backwards. Like it fell like mentally retardedly down the stairs. It was, it was actually really funny the way it fell so stupidly down the stairs. <clears throat> um, I saw a dog, oh, and by the way, then I saw the zombie get up. I put this in the back of the journal. I saw the zombie get up after it fell and it walked into a garage with a swinging door to the left. So then I look and um, um, I saw a dog who looked like Jesse, my friend's dog, who was hungry, but he looked untrustworthy. I think Jesse was in the dream too, evil twins. <clears throat> Jesse's a super pure of heart dog, is afraid of everything and super loving. But I saw an evil dog that looked just like Jesse and uh, it, it looked like it was hungry and I wanted to feed it, but it looked very untrustworthy. Like it was an evil dog uh, planning insidiousness, <clears throat> like evil violence intentions. Um, and then I remember seeing Jesse in the dream somewhere, but it was really him, trustworthy Jesse. Like they were evil twin dogs. There was an evil twin. Uh, it was Jesse and his evil twin, both black Dobermans. Then I got back to my hotel room and the manager was complaining that I didn't have my green badge. It could be like the mark of the beast or something. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> and I got back to my hotel room and that was the guy talking to the other guy about the Bible. Then I got back to my hotel room and the manager was complaining that I didn't have a, my green badge. I saw lots of different food in this dream. Pecan, clayed pecans. I don't know what it means, but they were like pecans there were glazed pecans. And then there were pecans with legitimate pottery clay wrapped over them, but they're candy and they look, looked really good. Glazed pecans, there were hard candy and lots of others, but I I remember I just, I wrote something, I have no idea what that word means. Maybe you could figure it out. It looks like a K, but I don't think it is. It says uh, somewhere I just, in that word, I don't know what that is. But I remember I just blank, I just got, I, it says got, but I remember I just got done eating and before I took third or fourth bite I was convicted by um the Holy Spirit um that I was being gluttonous in the dream because I was gonna take another bite and he was convicting me of gluttony and I wrote I love you Abba Lord and Holy Spirit oh yeah and after I kicked the zombie down the stairs um it went into the garage to the left this dream is a little unorganized but that's it I went in an area I wasn't supposed to be in on a deck that was on the deck. That's when the second man about the Bible. I, just, I wrote P.S. I was in an area I wasn't supposed to be in on a deck that was on the deck. That's when the two men were talking about the Bible. I believe God is telling me part of this is very, very important. God, is, I believe God is telling me that this part is very, very important. Where I was in this, I believe God is telling me this part is very, very important. I wrote down, P.S. This is the part. I was in an area I wasn't supposed to be in on a deck that was on the deck. That's when the two men were talking about the Bible. Anyway, pray to the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name and he might tell you. Go to a church, accept Jesus as your Savior. He loves you. Read the Bible to get to know him. Repent of your sins. It's key to being a Christian. And um, uh, the end is near. Repent. God bless. Goodbye.